Some dancers seem to defy gravity in their jumps, turn for days, or even just recover quickly from long rehearsals and be back at it the next day. Other times, some dancers really struggle and they feel tired, fatigued, they end up getting injured. And how do they even keep up with that training? How do they make the, that technique look so effortless? And while talent does have a big part of it, another part of it is actually science. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video is what dance science is and how dance science can actually help you become a stronger, more efficient dancer and make progress and be able to dance as long as you would like. I'm Kendall from Body Connect, and on this channel, we dive into dance science, strength training, and flexibility to help you dance stronger and smarter. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on future videos. Okay, so first of all, what is dance science? So I'm going to read you what the definition of dance science is first. Dance science is the study of how the body moves, adapts, and performs in the unique world of dance. Think of it as like the bridge between art and athletic performance. And we know that dancers are a combination of both. So this takes what we know from fields like sports medicine, biomechanics, physiology, psychology, nutrition, personal training, and it applies it directly to dancers instead of just for other athletes in sports like basketball basketball, baseball, or football. So instead of just training harder and doing more dance over and over and over again, we can actually train smarter and help you become a better dancer without overworking your body. So some of the key areas of dance science, I'm going to go over a few of them so you can see kind of just what the different like aspects of dance science can look like under that one big umbrella. So the first one is biomechanics, and this looks at how movement actually works. So for example, if you are turning and doing a pirouette and why you have a uh, core stability and hip alignment cues or how the joint angles affect the height of your extensions, things like that to study how the bones and the muscles are actually producing movement and how things like gravity or external forces are actually impacting the body when it's producing that movement. Another facet of dance science is exercise physiology, and this is about understanding the energy systems and things for things like endurance, strength, recovery, um, and just like athletes that are of other sports, dancers can also benefit from things like conditioning plans that improve stamina for long performances or power for explosive leaps, or just being able to improve aerobic or anaero anaerobic performance for maybe a long rehearsal or maybe an audition you have coming up. That exercise physiology portion portion is really going to help dancers learn how their energy is being utilized in the body. Another facet of dance science is injury performance and rehabilitation, um, especially injury prevention and looking at how science can help us reduce the risk of injuries. So things like cross training, load management, recovery strategies, physical therapy, athletic training, all of that would fall under that category. Psychology is another really interesting facet of dance science. So looking at things like confidence, focus, performance, anxiety, all playing a huge role in dance and things that we talk about and maybe not talk about, but feel all, all the time, whether we're in a class or a rehearsal. And psychologists can help dancers learn how to thrive in class and on stage and help you with mental skills that um, can really benefit, benefit you as a dancer. And then the last facet of dance science that I'll mention today is nutrition. Um, fueling the body really is essential as a dancer. And when you use somebody like a dance dietitian to understand how food impacts your energy, recovery, and long-term performance, you can really use it as a superpower to help you get through a long rehearsal or help you continue to show up day after day to a dance job and being able to take care of your body. So dance science obviously matters for dancers. It's going to help you in the long run. So here's the big takeaway of today's video. Dance science is not replacing the artistry of dance. It is supporting it and giving you that foundation to help you be stronger, more efficient, healthier, and your art artistry can really shine without being limited by pain or injuries or fatigue. 
So dance science is giving dancers that longevity, confidence, and the ability to keep progressing year after year. And that's one of the things that I love so much about dance science. It's why I got into the field. And if you're interested in learning more about how I got into dance science and my process of getting into my career, I made a video on that a while back and I'll link it in the description below. So if you're serious about improving as a dancer, learning about dance science will actually completely change how you approach your training when you dive into it on a deeper level. So on this channel, we break down things into simple comp concepts and with practical tips um, that you can use right away in your training. And although I don't give a ton of nutrition or psychology advice because that's not my specialty, I do incorporate some of those strategies into um, my training and into my videos as well. So if you're ready to unlock that full potential and give Dance Science a try, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back next week for another video.